Hi, I am Dr. Isha Jain and today we will discuss different types of entrepreneurs. So, entrepreneurs can be divided or can be classified on the basis of timing of venture creation, socio-cultural variables and entrepreneurial activity. So, first of all, let's go for classification based on the timing of venture creation. The first classification based on this is early starters. Early starters starts the venture with little or no full-time work experience and often early starters are from business families and have participated in the family business. An early starter is generally convinced of the great potential of his or her business idea and feels that the opportunity may cease to exist, exist if he waits too long. An extreme case of an early starter would be Suhas Gopina. He started his company Global Sync at the age of 14. In fact, he had to incorporate it in the USA as Indian laws do not permit a minor to run a company. Second classification based on this is experienced entrepreneurs. This type of entrepreneur has spent a few years working in the family business or in some other large company. Usually, the venture is related to the type of work the entrepreneur was previously engaged in and the entrepreneur brings a lot of experience, skills and personal credibility into the venture. Narayan Murthy is the example. He got together with other like-minded professionals to start Infosys when he was 35 years old. Last classification based on timing of venture creation is matured entrepreneurs. A lot of very senior professionals, some at the level of CEO, are quitting their jobs to start their own ventures. This is probably, probably because they have very high confidence in their abilities and have a desire to do things in a way that may not be totally acceptable to their erstwhile employees. Some shining examples of matured and entrepreneurs include Ashok Suta and Subrito Bakshi, who quit Vipro to start Mindtree and BVR Subu, the ex-CEO of Hyundai India who recently started a venture that bought the plant of Daivu in India. Next is the classification based on socio-cultural variables. So, first generation entrepreneurs is the first classification based on this category. It consists of those entrepreneurs whose parents or family have not been in business and were into salaried service. The booming economy of India has led to a multitude of business opportunities and with deregulation it has become easier to set up businesses. Also, with the change in the mindset of the middle class, it is now more acceptable to become an entrepreneur. India has a lot of examples of first generation entrepreneurs like Dhirubhai Ambani, Narayan Murthy, etc. Second classification based on socio-cultural variables is entrepreneurs from business families. Traditionally, there have been a few socio-ethnic groups who have dominated the business scene in India. Prominently, the Marwadis, Gujaratis, Parsis, Sindhis and Chetiyar communities are perceived as business people. The Tatas, Birlas, Vadyas, Murugappas and Singhanias are all from such business communities. It is argued that entrepreneurship becomes easier for someone from a business family or from a business community as there is a very solid support structure to help in times of need. But entrepreneurial success needs far more than just that. Next classification is minority entrepreneurs. They are many small ethnic groups that have traditionally not ventured into business. It has become important for them to venture out and create lasting enterprise. They will serve as examples for the rest of their community. And we must not forget that the dominant Parsi community started off as a few shiploads of refugees on the coast of Gujarat. Distinctly low levels of entrepreneurial activity are witnessed among the tribals of Central India, the hill people of the Northeast and among some socio-economically backward classes. Last classification based on socio-cultural variables is women entrepreneurs. Women as entrepreneurs have been a recent phenomenon in India. The social norms in India had made it difficult for women to have a professional life. Now this has changed. Progressive laws and other incentives have also boosted the presence of women in entrepreneurial activity in diverse fields. Kiran Manjumdar's show, founded Biocon, which is now the leading biotech firm in India and she is an inspiration to many other Indian women waiting to start their own businesses. Last classification based on entrepreneurial activity. It includes three types of entrepreneurs. First one is novice entrepreneurs. A novice is someone who has started his first 
entrepreneurial venture. Not to be confused with an early starter, a novice can also be a 50 year old with over 25 years of experience in the industry. Vishambar Saran was the director of raw material for Tata Steel when he quit after working in the steel industry for over 35 years. He leveraged his vast experience to start his own venture, Visa Steel. Starting from scratch 10 years back, the turnover of the company stands at over 400 rupees crore. Next is Serial Entrepreneur. A serial entrepreneur is someone who is devoted to one venture at a time but ultimately starts many. It is the process of starting that excites the starter. Once the business is established, the serial entrepreneur may lose interest and think of selling and moving on. For example, Rakesh Mathu, an alumnus of IIT Bombay, he has started a firm called Vibaru which enables easy offline surfing of the net. This is his latest venture in the series of successful ventures with great names such as Parmedia, Purple Yogi and Jungli. He sells off his ventures before moving on to the next one, his most high profile sale being that of Jungli which is sold to Amazon. Last is Portfolio Entrepreneur. A portfolio entrepreneur and runs a number of businesses. It may be a strategy of spreading risk or it may be that the entrepreneur is simultaneously excited by a variety of opportunities so that's why he is continuously starting and running a number of businesses. Also the entrepreneur may see on some synergies between the ventures. So these are the different types of entrepreneurs based on different classifications. If there is any query you can write it on the comment part. I will answer to it. Thank you.